because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined here in Dublin with Terry Harper. Terry, last time we spoke, it was after your win in Nottingham. You couldn't remember what the, the month was, if you remember. And I asked you, did you fancy getting back out again in December? Because Steffi was saying it. It's been a long layoff. How's that been for you? Yeah, very long layoff. And uh, I've been back in the gym since November, um, training away, but... Uh, I said to Andrew it was worth the wait. I had, we had a few fight dates pushed back and then obviously the opportunity to fight back at uh, back in Sheffield. Um, well, obviously Dolan got the court uh, at Nottingham and that, that kind of put the main event um, the main event fight were out. And uh, I feel like then Eddie presented, presented this opportunity for three weeks later to uh, be on such an amazing card and it was just a no-brainer. So uh, I can say it was worth the wait. I spoke to Steffi there and I did say, like, this is a moment of greatness for you, really. This is a massive fight, massive stage. What do you make of this whole event as a, as a thing? Because this is massive for Terry Hopper, right? Yeah, I need to soak it up, really, and just en enjoy every minute, enjoy the whole fight camp, and, and just remember, like, what a great show I'm going to be part of. And um, it's, it's first time, it's homecoming for Katie, and it's, the night's going to be electric and amazing, and uh, it's, it's very exciting. There's a buzz in the air already. I did speak to Steffi about this as well, but the Natasha Jonas fight falling through, was was there a bit of regret with you that, that it did fall through, or, or are you on to bigger and better things now? Regretting what the... That, that it's not going to happen at the moment anyways, that it didn't happen next. It is what it is. Uh, like I said, I've said in previous interviews, I'm not waiting around or anything. I'm not putting my career on hold for, for, for Natasha. So, um, we... I feel like every fighter's dream is to become undisputed, but um, obviously that that's not possible for me at the minute. So we wanted the next best thing, and we've gone on. Um, we've got a great fight now with Cecilia Brackhouse, and um, I'm just excited on my own, my own journey and my own path in this. So. Cecilia Brackhouse, tough, tough fight. How do you think that you beat Cecilia, and what weaknesses do you think you can exploit? I feel like my youth. I don't really need to use that as an advantage. Just like um, the Eva Wallstrom fight back in 2020, um, I kind of saw that as a bit of a passing of the baton. And I'm not saying I'm hoping. I'm not sure to say hope, but I feel like this is how this fight will go. And I really need to switch on on the night and and use my focus on my uh, attributes and my uh, my strengths and just just I just want to outbox and show how fresh I am and. Will you have a big army of fans coming over to, to Dublin for this one? Do you know what? I'm really shocked at um, how many tickets we've done already. And um, I, when Eddie says that like, I got the opportunity to fight over here, I thought oh, not really much stress of tickets like like it would be if I were fighting at home at Sheffield. But uh, honestly, it's crazy. And um, I just thank everyone who's coming out to support. Well, Terry, thank you very much for your time. We'll catch up again, fight week. Thank you. to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.